Right, what do we have here? This is not a Apple product, despite clear pretensions to the contrary. Uh, Vgate iCar OBD professional solution because of uh, can't be amateur. And you see they even managed to get the uh, little Apple logo in there for um, supposedly legitimate compatibility reasons. But no, this is a uh, OBD2 scan tool from China where imitating Apple products is um, the thing to do. Anyway, enough of that. When we open this uh, jewel case box, we see this. And uh, now we can't criticize the packaging. It's certainly likely to get to you in one piece. So um, we take this foam out and we get the device out. We can see that it is just a uh, fairly regular Bluetooth. This is the Bluetooth version. They do a Wi-Fi one as well. Uh, OBD scan tool supports all OBD2 protocols. And uh, just while we're looking at the box, it comes with a study in bad English. I don't know how good the Chinese is, but it's Chinese as well. And uh, one of these business card sized um, CD things from the distant past when people used to use optical drives. Um, I don't know what's on that. I don't really care because I use software and apps that I get directly off the internet. I don't know. Maybe that's useful for somebody, but probably not. So who cares? This is what we really want. Now, um, by the way, this is available in a bunch of different colors, not just the uh, continued Apple imitation sort of color scheme. Uh, you can get it in black and you can get it in um, various um, actual colors like red and green, and blue and so on. Um, and I'll um, put the links to uh, Amazon if you uh, actually want to purchase one of these um, below. So this is the iCar 2. There was an iCar 1 and there is also an iCar 3. Uh, which I, I think are just um, basically chronological versions, iterations. Uh, however, with the iCar 3, when I did my uh, limited research on this, I discovered some possible problems with stability and uh, you know, live data, um, particularly on the Forscan forums. That's the uh, Ford and Master app that I like to use. Uh, so the iCar 2 was generally recommended um, modulo it's not a professional scan tool um, so this is a bluetooth version which is great for um, android if you're using a phone um, bluetooth apparently doesn't work with ios and iphones and um, ipads because apple and they don't implement bluetooth fully or correctly apparently so in that case you need to get the wi-fi version of this and then it'll be more or less the same except you use wi-fi but either way, this is great for talking to a phone or a tablet, um, which you know you can have running on the dash while you're driving the car, um, or it can be around in the engine bay while you're diagnosing problems, uh, or you can obviously be using a laptop in the same scenarios, uh, and you don't have the problem of a cable. So uh, good news on that front. Um, there's just a little bit of background about these things. So these, Vgate actually don't claim this because they're probably slightly more conscious of the uh, legal ramifications than many of them. But these these cheap Chinese OBD tools, they use a, uh, a lot of them claim to be uh, ELM327. Uh, and that is a proprietary uh, microcontroller, which is made by a company called uh, ELM Electronics. And it's intended for talking to the onboard diagnostics or OBD systems in modern vehicles, which you've probably heard about. And then um, as part of that, there's the ELM327 command protocol, which is uh, about the scan tool, um, the uh, PC or phone or whatever, to the OBD interface. So genuine devices that use that microcontroller are typically three digits in their pricing, at least $100. Um, and then you get the cheap clones, uh, which are generally problematic. Um, they might support generic OBD2 uh, PIDs, which is the uh, the data points that you're looking for from your car. 
uh, but they're less likely to support the um, service protocols that are specific to manufacturers. And you can get those things as low as like you know, $5 off eBay. They are cheap as chips. So my objective was to find one that um, wasn't problematic and I settled on this. So it's basically my answer to what's the minimum you can get away with spending in order to talk to the car's full OBD reliably. So I'll put this in my car, which is a Ford Mondeo Mark III with a Duratec HE engine to give you a demo of it uh, working. So you plug it into the OBD port and um, switch the ignition on. Uh, no need to actually start the engine just to test it out if that's all you're doing. Now remember this is the Bluetooth version which I'm going to be using with Android. Uh, so you pair it as shown here. The password is uh, 1234 and I don't think that you can change it by the way. Um, if that kind of security is an issue for you, then um, you'll have to look somewhere else. Then you uh, run the app of choice. I'll show you Talk because that's uh, popular. And uh, select the device in the app. And voila. So here's a shot illustrating data lag, uh, just as I blip the throttle with the engine running. Now you can compare it to the tachometer on the dash. So it's not the fastest, this is quite a bit of noticeable latency, but it you know it gets the job done. Um, with my Ford, I prefer to use an app called Forescan, which I mentioned before. And that's intended for both Ford and Mazda vehicles. And it gives me access to um, a lot of the Ford-specific PIDs, which things like Torque just don't. And on top of that, I like the interface anyway. I prefer it. So I also had a... Uh, Ford Focus, uh, which needed some error codes clearing. Um, so this Focus had a fuel pump which failed and had been replaced, but in the process of replacing it, a bunch of new codes were set. So I'll just do a real world demo here of clearing those codes. I plug the tool in again, turn on the ignition, no need to start the engine to do this job. Uh, we run the app, in this case Forescan, connect it to the tool. And then you uh, see that this now recognizes the car as a Focus as opposed to the Mondeo I was just using earlier. Now we click on Errors and the app will scan the different modules that it can. And again, this is where Forescan is doing things that apps like Talk just won't. Uh, it'll scan the different modules for reported codes and then as you can see there are a whole bunch and uh, different uh, modules uh, relating, as I said, to the fuel pump problems, which we now know are fixed. So, by the way, in most apps, uh, including this Forescan, you can pull up some rudimentary info on common errors. Uh, for example, if I select this uh, P0460 invalid fuel tank level item, I can get some details. Um, so it says invalid fuel tank level message from instrument cluster. So that might be useful if you're trying to diagnose things that you need to go and um, do some more in-depth research online in most cases. Anyway, I just want to clear these codes here, so I just action that functionality and it goes right ahead and wipes them and then rescans the, the system. Now there are two remaining here, both of which are considered normal in this car uh, and they can just be ignored. Then you can double check that your problem is being fixed by checking that none of the cleared codes return in the future. So that's a good demo, uh, all works well. And the last thing to mention with the iCar 2 is it turns itself off after a uh, after 30 minutes of cut ignition. Then to use it again, you press the power button to turn it on, otherwise it stays off. So this way you can uh, basically leave it unplugged in permanently if you want to, and you don't need to worry about a sort of phantom power draw. Right, the last thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to demonstrate my Mondeo uh, starting the engine from cold and then going for a drive out, um, including some highway driving but I'm going to do that in a separate video because it's going to be long and I don't want this video to um, include all of that.
So that's about it. I hope this was useful. Again, the links to purchase are uh, down below. I think it's a pretty good solution, um, short of spending quite a lot more money. So for uh, those of us counting, counting the pennies, then yeah, recommended. Okay, have fun.